Hello and a happy new year to you. As we reflect on the past year, it's with your support that we've achieved so many great things in 2022. We've continued to champion animal free research from funding pioneering initiatives like our Mini Hearts project to supporting students at our summer school to being motivated and committed to becoming the next generation of animal free scientists. Despite challenging circumstances both here and around the world, we've continued to work towards a kinder science, bringing us closer to a world that you and I both urgently want to see, a world where animal research is a thing of the past. So I'd like to share with you just a few examples of Animal Free Research UK's 2022 highlights. Influencing decision makers to change policy is a key focus area in our work. At Downing Street, in collaboration with Cruelty Free International and One Kind, our patron Carol Royal joined me to hand in our Target Zero petition, calling on the government to proactively plan to end animal research in the UK. Over 101,000 people signed the petition, proving that there's really strong public support for ending outdated medical research. Every one of those signatures is helping to urge the UK government to listen to the public and commit to a clear action plan. Thanks to Labour MP Luke Pollard, we hosted a reception at the House of Commons where we launched our eight steps to accelerate human relevant innovation, a manifesto setting out how the UK can become a world leader in animal free science. We were joined by our fantastic patrons, Dame Joanna Lumley and Carol Royal, who both gave keynote speeches endorsing the eight steps and calling on the government to launch a formal inquiry into how the UK conducts medical research. Scores of MPs attended the reception, which also attracted UK-wide media coverage, helping to spread far and wide our shared vision of a world in which human diseases are cured faster without animal suffering. In June, we were delighted to return to hosting our annual science conference. Over two days in Birmingham, we discussed our collective desire to benefit human health by pioneering, perfecting and transitioning to modern animal free medical research. Attendees had a ringside seat in history as I awarded our first Animal Free Research UK Pioneer Award to Dr. Dong Ingber, the founding director of Harvard University's Feast Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering. In 2010, Don developed a lung on a chip, the first of its kind, making him a truly worthy winner of our inaugural award. Partnering with the Alliance for Human Relevant Science, we also launched our community of practice aimed at stimulating collaboration between medical researchers, students, industry and other scientists. We developed an online platform for this community to connect with each other, to share ideas and find creative solutions to problems. Collaboration really is a key to accelerating towards a kind of science that benefits both animals as well as humans. Our summer student programme gave early career scientists valuable laboratory experience in animal free medical research. This year, 16 students spent their summers developing animal free research techniques to study a wide range of illnesses. The programme culminated with a two day summer school jam packed with inspirational workshops to provide our young scientists with additional skills to help them to develop their future careers. Supporters and students met at the Leafy Barbican Conservatory in London for a final celebration where students presented their research and started to build their own networks with the animal free community. In October, we teamed up with the Alliance for Human Relevant Science and Dutch partners from the Transition Programme for Innovation to launch Britain's first Helpathon. Helpathons are a pioneering initiative from the Netherlands which provide a safe space for scientists who are interested in moving away from animal research and seeking advice on animal free methods. This year we were delighted to help Professor Jasmine Daly and Dr. Duco Kouenis to identify animal free methods to study inflammation. And we've continued to support pioneering research this year funding nine new pilot studies covering research topics including stroke, liver disease and breast cancer. Short pilot studies like these allow researchers to tap into blue sky thinking and start to think about how they might replace animals with exciting new research. These pilot studies really are making a difference. We 
You are also able to start visiting our exciting Animal Free Research UK funded projects in laboratories again this year after a little break for the pandemic. And it was fantastic to visit Professor Chris Denning's lab at the University of Nottingham, where he and his team are working to develop cutting edge human cell models to study heart failure. We also visited the Institute of Child Health at Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital, where Dr. Claire Smith and her team are developing a new 3D model of the lung to help to study RSV bronchiolitis. That's a life threatening lung infection that affects about 34,000 children in the UK every year. We're funding lots of other projects just like these that are advancing the development of human relevant research for diseases including cancer, heart disease and COVID-19. And you can find out more about these projects on our website. We were also excited to launch our podcast, the Animal Free Labcast in 2022. It's a frank, lively exchange of ideas and experiences with leading scientists, policymakers and animal protection ambassadors, all who are part of the Animal Free Innovation Revolution. If you haven't already, do have a listen. All episodes are available on our website, on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And if you can do, leave us a review. So as you can see, a lot can happen in a year and we're sure that 2023 will be no different. We're just as ambitious as ever and excited with what this new year will bring. Just one last important thing, a heartfelt thank you to you for your generosity and your compassion for animals, without which we wouldn't have been able to achieve all that we have. From all of us at Animal Free Research UK, your support is deeply, deeply appreciated. So thank you. I wish you and your loved ones a healthy and happy new year. Bye for now.